Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Tennis Manager 2023. This is episode number seven. Currently perfect form and 300 level tournaments left. I'm hoping that Clarice can come away with some results to wrap up this first season. And of course us reaching that pivotal moment of how much money are we going to bag uh, from the board? And is it going to give us a positive balance? Is it going to be enough to make our first infrastructure upgrade oh our 100 level tournament though not happening this week why because well it's been replaced by we qualified for a pro tournament that 80 level we got something in terms of having made it here uh, qualified for main draw bonus five points so we have five points in the pro ranks we are ranked that's going to help you get into tournaments later on course that's going to hold on for a year so we have a year to get back and at least have one tournament it's not something i want to do on a regular basis until we're a bit older we have not conquered the juniors yet 418 is an awfully high rank an awfully high rank for uh our opponent here so uh, we're probably going to go down hard in this one clay court you can see how this is a bigger tournament as for the first time we see a roof it's not much of a roof but it is a roof it's still a small audience but it's definitely different than what we've been seeing with the junior ranks i like how the stadiums get bigger our opponent has won Time. two titles before we've got nothing But we do score the first point, so we've already got that one out of the bag. Ooh, 30 love. Just keeping that one in. Forty love. Oh. Wow. That hits the line. It was towards the outer edge of the line. But it was very much it got a piece of the line. But we do ultimately come away with that first game. So we won't go home empty-handed, but I'm guessing this is going to be a struggle. Let's give it a little time and see how much of a struggle we're in for. Uh, entering the match, we're coming in very fit, looking really good. Our opponent, not. Not as fit entering this one. Uh, didn't prepare for this tournament as well. And showing up at, what, 85%, I'd say? fitness wise but both are pumped so the mentality is right we lead 2-1 after three games and a chance to break would give us a 3-1 lead and that is shocking but uh unforced error and we've got ourselves a match uh, a game and we do take it after a couple advantages we do ultimately get that winner and it's 3-1 dang didn't think we were in for much of a shout for this match but our opponent's not having a very good day at the moment we've won all three games that we've served and taken one of two on the return side of things now two of three on the return side it's 5-1 holy cow yeah, this was completely unexpected. Those qualifiers we squeaked through against against athletes ranked 500 spots lower with no titles to their name. We've got an opponent here that's won two titles, 500 spots higher in the rankings. I mean, that is a drastic change. That's not 20 spots or 50 spots like we've been seeing spreading the junior field. We're talking about five hundred spot difference cannot believe that we won that first set at all let alone six one Second set. i i, I don't even want to look at this set right now i just want to close my eyes and, and keep the dream going <laughs> dad we lead two games nothing i couldn't look away too long oh 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 she broke us there though and then she's won three straight after we got that early start. We do come back, get on the front foot. We break her again. It's 4-3. It's 5-3. <laughs> Are we going to get out of this first round? It's 5-4. 15-30. Oof. Unforced error right into the net. 
Ugh, into the net again, and it's 5-5. Five, five. I slowed that down at a bad time, but okay. About 15. Should have been a double fault. You know my thinking on that one. 15 all. She ends up winning that point. So instead of us leading 30-15, she leads 30-15. Uh, that's a big difference. 30 all. Second service. Forty, thirty. Oof, couldn't quite reach that one. And that was six games to five. That was ugly. Now in the must win scenario, we have to win this game to send it to the tiebreak. Wow, how did we get that winner? That ball had some zip to it. Hit that back baseline. Maybe she thought it was gonna go out. Ooh. Nice winner there. She immediately attacks the net. Forces the mistake. As we play it hard off of her, we action pushed it wide. Ooh, see there. That was that was the on the edge of the line, but counted. I was all worried about that game one set one. Here we are now. In tiebreakers of set two and a chance to to win after that mistake though it's 3-1 now 3-2 really good serve on that one there it is 4-2 looking pretty good right now and that's long 5-2 we wouldn't have reached that that would have been a winner so we lucked out there that was a good one and it's 5-3. Ooh. Well, we got lucky that first one looked like it was in. Uh, that was in. We did get lucky there because her double fault, first one, it was on the line. And then ours, that uh, was on the outer edge of the line, the one that I couldn't get that call on earlier. We get that call here, and it becomes an ace and the winner of the match winner. By the way, this tournament being hosted in Charleston, South Carolina, I was just there. <laughs> I was just there a week ago. All right, well, round of 32, which I think... No, we're in round of 16 now. Round of 16, nine point. We have 14 points already. That's gonna... That's that's a decent haul already. And 2.8K. Uh, but the three seed is our opponent, 205th ranked player in the world. Mm-hmm. Sure. I like our chances with double qualifiers for the quarterfinal, but I don't like our chances of being in that quarterfinal. At all. We played well on that first point, still lost it anyway, but of course that's going to happen plenty of times. We draw a level. 15 all. I'm not going to spend much time on this one. I, I have a feeling that we're going to be be beat quite easily I mean, there's no way that we are suddenly that good we squeak through the qualifiers against players you know ranked 800 spots below this we might have caught a, a player who was on an off day I just don't see us even on an off day being able to beat this one as we already trail by a game we'll be lucky to get more than a couple of games I would think there's one though, but we're quickly behind three one, and that's that's expected. I think maybe two six two six type scenario. It's one five. We get that second, and we're about to lose that first set two six as expected. Staying alive for now. The rally goes on, but unlike the opponents we are used to where our surviving is about s extending the rally it's not now I mean, it's, it's really not there's our opponent can make it back forth back forth back forth we have to grind out results a different way than that against somebody this good but i was hoping for two games we got two games we got our two games in the first three played we're we're playing decent in this set. 4-5. Uh, for a second there, it looked like we were going to win that one. 
We have drawn level at 5 5, though. We're hanging in there. Ugh. Big mistake as we slow it down, though. That's a winner. 6 5. We might actually win a set here, which is shocking. I did not think we were going to be this competitive. I'm not giving us enough, enough credit. I'm not giving Clarice the credit she is due. Uh, both players are quite tired by this point, by the way. About 50% at that start to make mistakes stage. Pumped and enthusiastic. So similar mentalities. 3 1 in the points, though, here in the tiebreak. We're having the match of our life. She's never even heard of us before today. Great serve. Our return goes a little long, and just like that, it's 3 5. Second. Skill shot. We haven't been seeing anything skill shot wise in our low ju junior levels. But we got that one there. 5 6. Really good serve. Really good. She was at match point, but we're alive and kicking. Set point. Simply win by two right now for this game to take the set for this tiebreaker. And we've done it. Wow, we win a set. We've won a set. 205th ranked player in the world. We're moving up, folks. I'm back at that. I don't want to look, though. <laughs> uh, some recovery. We had a little bit less in between. We're going to be falling into the uh, let's make mistakes trap a little bit earlier. And we're already trailing by three games. So the hopes, the dreams lived on a little bit longer. But it's really not looking good as we're trailing 4-2. And we're well into the, our accuracy has dropped and she's just at that beginning to drop phase. And it's 5-2 and it's match point. That one goes out. And that's it. We push it to three sets though, which is freaking awesome. We do so much better than expected, but we are out in our first senior level tournament. This was all about picking up some points and we have done exactly that. What was it? 14 points that we'll have picked up from this? Something along those lines. Into the 100 level tournaments again. Now just two of those remain since we uh, miss one of those tournaments replacing it with a senior level. But we are a one seed here. I'm hoping that we win it. One of these two. First three rounds were all quite easy. Now we have Ratuzic in the semifinal. 178th ranked junior. We're over 100 spots ahead. Uh, the two seed is still alive in the other semi. They are ranked 119th. That's our, you would expect, likely opponent for the final as it's the 349th ranked Canadian uh, junior up against them. So they'll be heavy favorites there. 6-3, 6-1. We will play in the final. A few double faults for us, but doubling up on the winners. Unforced errors almost identical to each other. So 60% of points won. It's a good one. Penultimate to, uh, pen penultimate tournament of the year. And it's a final. And we are the favorite. Let's see if we can go out and take care of business. So far, this tournament has been comfortable. Every round, we won within two sets. Every round was 6-3 or better, meaning they had no more than three games won in any of the rounds. Uh, but we're off to a bad start in the first game here. Multiple mistakes. Fortunately, our opponent has made a mistake as well. We come in troubled. The mentality is wrong uh, entering this final. We're not confident, and we're making unforced errors and ultimately lose the first game as a result. And that was on the line, and so was that. And we're already down 30 love here. Uh, ridiculous start. Can we have a talk yet? Really need to bounce back with a better game here if we aren't going to go down in this first set. And we do. It's 2-1. Mentality was completely wrong. Everything about it entering this final, she was, she's allowed the nerves to get the better of her. Our pre-match talk actually made it worse instead of better as well. Very much need this game. 
buy, we battle back and get the game actually, so that's good. Two three, but now two four, two five. We are gonna lose this first set, and the mentality has stayed the same. Has stayed the same. It's been very poor. Thurman, this the match is far from over, but the. Advantage. The mentality Second is set. costing us this first set. Our opponent's thrilled. She's already coming up on that 50%, so we will have a bonus, uh, you would think, fairly early on in that second set. And we stay alive, by the way, by taking that game. It's 4-5. But massive unforced errors. We just cannot get... It was in. That was in! Changing up the game plan to be more aggressive in this second one. We're anxious, but she's now troubled. And close to that 50% threshold already. I think we can win this particular set. Something like 6-3. There was no reason to lose that first set. It was unforced errors due to poor mentality. We're still anxious, but she did ultimately calm down a little bit and start to focus on the match at hand here, but here we are. <laughs> and as much as I hate seeing Thurman performing like this, losing two games love here in the second set with, you know, every every reason to be up three games right now and, and not down. But anyway, as much as I hate it, I also love it. You're seeing in action a balanced AI. You're seeing us struggle to get wins, but we're also firsthand seeing how much form could have a positive impact as we made the second round of that senior level tournament when we really didn't have much business doing so and managed to win a set against a much higher ranked player as we had really good form. And we saw how much of an impact that made. But we also had a good mentality. And here, heavy favorites, poor mentality, but good for them. And we're seeing how much of an impact that poor mentality is having. The unforced errors are absurdly high. And we're giving it away. So we're seeing just how impactful these various elements are and, and how they're changing the outlook. Form's important, mentality is important, tactics are important, and quality is important. And what I'm seeing as we're about to lose, <laughs> we're about to lose this freaking final and have absolutely no business losing it, but we know why. We know exactly why. And for that reason, it is deserved. For that reason, we should be losing. Quality-wise, we shouldn't be losing. But, you know, there's a reason why we're losing here. And I could see it. You could see it. Our opponent's not beating us here. She's playing well. Uh, to, you know... I don't want to take away from her. Our opponent is playing well. But it's the unforced errors. It is the unforced errors that are getting getting us. She got a winner on that one. But over and over again, it's the other way. It's match point. Unforced errors. That was a completely, completely unforced error. Absolutely nothing about that ball was difficult to return for a, a player of any quality. For me, sure, I might have trouble returning that ball cleanly. Clarice should not have had any trouble. We lose 4-6, 4-6. We've lost in the final. We have one tournament remaining on the year. Two weeks till that final tournament. I am over training knowing that there's rest coming knowing that it's going to hurt our form, knowing that 
you know what I don't actually really care too much whether we win that final tournament or not I'd rather see Thurman make some progress so we had three speed training sessions and we're gonna do it again this week we're already seeing a dip physical condition dropped to 85 but that's okay three points of progression not in speed this week though uh, but we're up to a 10 in forehand power, backhand accuracy, and agility. All great traits to, to be hitting that mark. We've got a lot of 10s now. We have a single 11. Anticipation is going up. Uh, speed making its way towards uh, 11. It's getting awfully close to that mark. Uh, drop shots close to leveling up. Backhand power is about to hit an 11. Tactical skills is about to hit a 10. Uh, we've seen... The physical average now overtake through these two weeks uh, overtake the mental average and we're seeing some pretty good gains from the technical average as well uh, come a long ways from the start of the year though where we were sixes and sevens we are now a lot of eights and nines as an average okay final tournament of the year of course i've done some harm to myself in terms of our physical condition for this one so are we going to be favorites or not? I don't know, but we are 63rd in the rankings and the one seed and have an easy path to at least the quarterfinals into November and the quarterfinals. Another 20K debt, so we're now at 170000 Again, we're hoping for a payment of roughly 200 k so it's not going to leave us a lot, is it? Uh, but anything profit-wise... We essentially started from zero. We had that 10K, but we spent it on eliminating staff. And I think ultimately we had about 2,000. So we're really only about 172K negative if we're gaining 200. Even if we lose another 20, if we get to 190 and then gain 200. It's a positive balance of 10K on the year. But Thurman, it's going to be even better next year. And she will have more winnings than she had this year. If we're... 10k positive balance for the entire year this year i would expect next year at minimum even without the infrastructure you increase that so we're better than break even uh <laughs> but we haven't gotten there yet Let, let's get through the rest of this tournament and just see if that ends up being the truth took three sets to get through this one it was definitely a much higher ranked opponent six seven not even winning a single point in the tiebreaker six four six three a lot of winners for both a lot of unforced errors for both but ultimately the unforced errors it took 217 points holy cow uh somebody go check their pulse do they still have a heartbeat after that one only a single ace combined through the two of them tough opponent here in the semis the four seed seven five six two into the final so we make it is this the same opponent we just played yeah, she beat us 6-4, six, 6-4. Four, six, four. I think that was. We're going to simulate this, though. We flipped the script. It's 6-3, six, 6-4. Six, we have won our final tournament of the year. And now, with tournaments done, though it says I have a tournament in seven days. Do I? Do I have a tournament in seven days? Maybe I do. Uh, maybe I've gone overboard a little bit here and need some more care and rest. I looked at the tournament registrations, and I saw... One less than this, but uh, okay. I guess we have one remaining. Final tournament of the year. Again, the one seed now 54th in the juniors. I really pushed the training the last few weeks also, which has been great for development, but it's been really bad for the physical condition of Thurman. Quarterfinals, it's a winner, but my oh my, was it close. Two rounds left on the season. That was the sixth seed. Now this one unranked, but just outside of being unranked. And again, with our fatigue, I wouldn't make us f favorites here. And the South Korean opponent, who's two spots below us in the rankings, very well could be the favorite in the final. If we get there. We do get there, barely. 7-5, 6-4. have a feeling we're losing this final. Oh, except for Alanis Hamilton has upset the Korean player and gives us a chance here gives us a real chance at winning this one but again it's time to wrap up the season it's 6-1-6-1 six, one, six, one, and we get our second straight tournament victory good way to end the season and 
I just jumped to level three as a manager from level one. So that reputation portion is increasing and that could and should see us uh, grow as a manager and eventually, eventually manage the US side. I wish that I could remember our beginning attributes. Has she picked up attributes after leveling up her profile, right? Her experience level goes up too. You would hope that that means that something in the ratings goes up as well. And that's how that should work. I'm not sure if that's how that works. Uh, if that's not in the game now, I would love to see that in the game in future editions that just like the athletes, the staff should be changing and you know dynamic and improving as they level up or get worse as they age. World Cup week, the juniors, obviously one of those things to keep an eye on as I would think by next year, we've got a chance to be a part of it with Thurman. And the US qualified for the finals. This is the World Cup finals. They're up against Canada, by the way, in the quarterfinals, but the team selection, our ranking is now higher than Nagunye. Nagunye was at the top of the list at the start of the year. I'm guessing that her reason for dropping is probably her age and that she's been uh, at 17. I have a feeling that she has moved. Yeah, she's up to 350th world tour level. If you ask me, she's been competing mostly primarily at senior level this season and not at juniors. And that's why you're seeing that because her fame is at a six. And yeah, I would, I would think that that's the reason for that. Quality wise, she's probably the best of the five that were selected. So more realistically, you're looking at three top 25s. Oh, oh, oh back to the US again. Uh, three top 40s, that is. A 50th ranked, and then somebody who's quite good at, you know, look at the age. Uh, Catherine will not be available next season. So maybe we're taking her slot. It's possible, it's possible. Yeah, just for comparison's sake here, Junior overall ranking, comfortable. We're very satisfied on the year, but that national ranking, sixth. We are the next player now. So I have a feeling, a hunch, it would seem that next year we're gonna be part of the junior level World Cup with Clarice Thurman. I, we're not in a position to be hiring staff yet with the finances, but finances, finances. Let, let's get to it. Let's see what happens with this World Cup. Pro level, the US has won. The number seven team has won. And Anna Samova leading the team there. That's surprising considering none of them are in the top 10. They have some quality across the group as a whole. There isn't that one or two dominant players. So very surprising that they're able to pull that off. In that junior category, they go down in the quarters. Canada has caused the upset. And Canada made it all the way to the final before losing to number one, Australia. Australia has claimed the juniors title. We'll see what happens next year when we are hopefully a part of that competition. All right, we're coming up on that end of season stuff. Moment of truth for us. But first off, the indoor season has come to an end and we move up 45 more spots. We pick up a solid haul of points with 320, almost doubling up what we had on the previous period. Also, almost doubling up the prize money, reaching 10K. Only four tournaments played, but winning two of them and going deep throughout, 90% win rate. That is what we needed to be seeing. It's not the big tournaments right now where it's at. It's getting to that point where you can reach finals and win some of them. If we can start consistently reaching finals at the 200 level and winning some of them, then we need to start competing there on a regular basis, so on and so forth. So just build it up. You don't have to win all the time. You don't want to win all the time, but you have to be capable because that's where the prize money is at right now. And the prize money for the time being is very important. I've now made it into World Tour. So we are keeping an eye on that one. We picked up 14 points, 2.8K prize money, one tournament, three wins when you count those qualifiers. And we're up to 915 in the rankings thanks to that performance. Overall balance for the year, minus 167K. Let's hope for uh, a big bonus from the board to offset that at least 200K. 
On the women's front, Sabalenka was the World Tour highest ranked player at the end of the year, the winner. And Havlakova was the junior winner. And the board contribution is in its 238,000. It's even better than expected. It gives us a temporary balance of 52,000. Now, of course, next year we can expect the same issue to still exist. It's not suddenly going away. Our losses are going to be swift. So if I sit on this money and go, gosh, we need money. No, we need to improve our income. So we need to spend this right away virtually all 50,000 of it even though that's going to hurt our our temporary balance and put us in the same hole next year but we have some money to spend it's better than expected we have offset that debt and left ourselves with a plus 50k balance which is beautiful uh, this is how we continue forward i'd looked at this briefly around episode one but been a little while since then and I don't know where to invest so that's going to be a big question now of course looking back on our finances we might be able to get a little indicator of just how bad certain areas are but I don't know realistically how those earnings are um, how much are they offset from what they could be should be each of the four specific centers, the four tabs that we have in infrastructure, here is the income versus the potential income of what we have in facilities right now. All of them are making less than what they should, significantly less. But the breakdown of that is important to where we choose to invest. And here's the numbers, and then I'll explain why. First off, the sports center is earning 58% of its max. Medical Center is earning 45%. Youth and Scouting is at 55%, while the Business Center is at 51%. All of them are making somewhere around half of what they could or should. Now, better staff, better athletes, better reputation, all of those things will boost that up. We don't have that right now. We don't have that for the coming season. We are going to invest the 52K that we have into here and now, into immediate. Therefore, if we're gonna do that, and based on the percentage of how much you actually get to keep, the highest number is the obvious place to go, and that's the Sports Center at 58%. We're gonna keep more of that money. If we threw it into the Medical Center, we're only going to get 45% of that money. In a way, you still don't get all of that money. Clay Quartz, plus 3.9K. 58% of that? Nah. No. Yeah, okay, you get 58% of that. But you get 100% of this. The expenses aren't going anywhere. That is plus 200. Plus 200. 100, not K, just Point two. That would actually lose us more money. We could hire an additional trainer and we would get a bonus on clay of 1%. We'd be losing more money. So we need to find what is the most profitable based on what we can afford and know that of that profit, or at least of the initial, we're only getting 58% of that. So we got to be careful to make sure that it actually will improve the finances. Nothing right now in year one is going to offset the 20K deficit that we have. We're going to have a deficit again in the coming year. But if these things only take about a month to do, they will help offset. If we can earn 4K more after those three areas are calculated, 4K more means we're down to a deficit of 16K. And if our winnings increase by a couple K average monthly next year, then we're 6K better off a month. A month. That's 72,000 better at the end of the year. You get another 238K next year. 
we're looking at 120,000 in the bank in December. That's a massive difference. So it does matter. It does matter. We got to be careful. Okay, it's got to be something that we obviously can afford. 527, 526. We are so close, but that's actually only 1.5. 9 is definitely up there. And this is the leader right now. It's only going to take a month to complete. And we're looking at a big increase. In the numbers, I'm doing the hard math. Our first option, the paddle courts, here's how the numbers crunch. I'm going to take that 11.3, that base income. I'm going to multiply it by 0.58, that 58%, to see how much would remain. I'm assuming 58% will be consistent next year. Even if it's not, you figure it's got to be similar. It's got to be close. So we take away that 42%. And then whatever remains of that income, subtract the expenses, because those expenses are going to come in at 100%. They don't get to be dropped by 58%. Those expenses remain. What remains of that is our net profit, 3.85, 3.85K for the paddle courts. Let's compare to our other options. That paddle court would cost us most of what we have. Crunching the numbers didn't become a major necessity here as it was pretty obvious because the expenses were identical and seeing an income a thousand less on the surface. Once you do the math, it's gonna be pretty obvious I went ahead and did the math anyway, but uh, final profit of 3.2K for the improve your play and court connected courts or play and company, play and co connected courts, whatever that is. Uh, it's a little bit less for an almost identical uh, cost. So that means the paddle courts, paddle courts are where we are investing our money. Now, I have 6.7K remaining. We're not going to get an infrastructure upgrade for 6K. But what I might get, one area where we came up short, and I knew from testing could be offset, was we might be able to improve the 45%, which was the worst of the numbers, medical center by hiring a staff member. We've got a little bit of money to hire a staff member. We already know that the increase in income should almost identically offset the cost. And that'll give us a physio, which is something we lack right now. So I'm going to look to hire a physio. I'm already on the fourth attempt at finding a physio. I'm not starting with the weakest. I am moving up the list a little bit. I don't know what the cost is going to be like. I don't know if we can afford. We're, we're checking and then getting down to what we ultimately have to side, because again, we know that this is gonna be something that offsets. Okay, well, we have somebody. Three seasons, no problem. Her patience is very low. She's really not interested. But the signing bonus is in our range. We can increase that a little bit. But the monthly wage, let's try to keep that the same. We'll increase the signing bonus knowing that, hey, it's a one-time deal here. so give her a little more cash okay she's happy but she's not happy there's still a very good chance that she will not ultimately sign with us uh, but we've gone through our threes we've got one three remaining and then basically five more recruits left to potentially sign uh, but it looks like salary wise or bonus wise it's a possibility that we will be able to get one but we've got to do it before the end of December. On to goals for next season for Clarice. That's happening right away before we make this hiring a done deal. Oh my, our junior ranking is climbing. <laughs> uh, a lot of juniors are not going to be juniors anymore. That's one of the main reasons for that, that our junior ranking is going up significantly. 750, I like that idea. Rookie level. I don't really want to push rookie level. That's, that's not our happy area. Gosh, you're aiming for the Grand Slams already. That's making me nervous. Making me nervous. She's not too happy about that. And top three. We're fourth right now in the juniors. 
Uh, we only have to move up one spot, but definitely more difficult objectives in the coming season than what we had. A lot of that happening by default. We fly up the rankings because a bunch of the juniors aged up. Awesome. Okay, we got our signing. We have a physio. And like I said, even though we are increasing our expenses by 2.4K, we should see a income increase in the medical center of roughly 2.4K. So all in all, we should see a monthly balance of 3.85K or 4K. So like I said, instead of a 20K deficit monthly, a month from now, we'll be looking at a 16K deficit. And with the improvement, with the exit of a lot of other juniors, we're going to be playing at a higher level in the coming season. We're going to start, I think, with those 200s and go from there uh, with Clarice, especially now that a lot of those better juniors have moved up. And that means the quality level, right, climbed over the course of the season, not just us. We might have climbed at a faster pace, but the whole group progressed. Now a, a big chunk of them age out, and it brings that back down for another year. But we don't come down. We continue climbing. So I, I think our start point for tournaments will be 200 level. That is going to do it for this episode, though. We have made it through our first season. We have a balance of 1,000 right now. But we got one upgrade on the way and we got one staff member added by the way i better uh, remember to go in and add that staff me- oh, oh, oh it'll be there tomorrow it'll be there tomorrow by the way as we go to wrap this episode up i do think we have seen some progress uh universe gamer appears to have better rings i thought we had multiple one stars we only have the single one star now the ability to motivate is quite low but our technical training and our physical training both look like they have moved up. Hopefully that is the case. I don't know for sure, but Monty comes in as a three star and with how we are, I think that's a good start point. Let's just hope that we do in fact see income uh, in the medical center increase to offset her salary, which is, of course is just that 2.4K monthly, which isn't a lot, but through testing, I did discover that that's how that worked. So we should be good in that department. Um, it's only one upgrade. It's only a single one, but 4,000 a month is 4,000 a month. And it takes that deficit and slowly starts to put it the right direction. And Thurman is just going to keep getting better, keep playing higher tournaments, getting increased prize money and an increased prize share for us. All in all, we're looking at a better and better year, less deficit and a whole lot money. A year from now it's gonna take a lot of years before we're properly making profit but every year those finances improve every year that injection at the end of the year is going to be more impactful and we're not going to be making one upgrade we're going to be making two upgrades and then we're going to be making three upgrades and then we'll be making four and then we're making money on a regular basis and not having to do it yearly every couple months, it will get better. And that's the great news is we have done it. We have overcome the absurd start, but we still only have one athlete and we still have a lot of work to do. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there and bye for now.